How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I wanted to do a little video here today on why I am excited about the market. Now, <laughs> I realize this is the first red day in a while that we've seen so significant. I mean, I feel like over the last couple of weeks, we've seen nothing but green, 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 green stocks. Growth stocks specifically are up three to 5% a day, it seems like. But today, all the indexes are down. If I look here at my Weeble, where I have 88 different stocks that are being tracked and other kinds of investments, I should say, because there are a couple other ones, only 10 or 11 are in the green. So 80%, 90% of growth stocks are in the red today. So I want to talk to you about why I am actually excited about that. But before we do, if you guys don't mind hitting the like button, I really appreciate that. It helps out the channel. Also hit subscribe if you haven't done that already. There is a link down there to Weeble to get some free stocks and to be able to track it. You can set alerts on here so you know when stocks go up a certain amount or down a certain amount. You can trade before the market opens and after it closes and all that good stuff. So if you guys want to do that, you can check it out down below. You can get some free stocks as long as you deposit $100. And there's a link down there to BlockFi to get an interest rate on your crypto and to get a bonus of up to $250 just for signing up and depositing some. So it's a tiered system. The more you deposit, the more money you actually get up to $250 worth of Bitcoin. So the market is red today. Now there are some winners. It's kind of, it doesn't seem like a particular sector. I mean, we have AMC, which is battling like crazy. Tattooed Chef was up 5% then it was down to plus 2%. We have a couple stocks that went up drastically. Like someone created a couple big buys on him. Now overall though, the market's down. I mean, take a look. Some of these are down 3%. Some are down 4 5 uh, We have some that are down significantly, like double digits or close to double digits here. Now, I think that this is actually very healthy. I did a video yesterday talking about how I was going big on two specific stocks. And they're stocks that hold up very well when there's a lot of red in the market. And they've been doing really well in general. And those two stocks are Google and Apple. If you guys want to see my longer video, I'll put it on the end screen. But what I've been noticing is it's hard to find stocks that seem like they're at really great values. I mean, we saw that for a while, right? We saw stocks that are down significantly. Today, we are seeing a little bit of a dip. And I'm actually excited. So I just want to stop anyone that's worrying or feeling like they have a bad day. Uh, from feeling that way because we need to see some red days every once in a while in the market. It's healthy. What we don't want is a massive run up and crash where there's huge amounts of capitulation. There's a lot of fear in the market and a lot of other people are just getting worried. So I apologize for that noise there. But so we don't want that. We want a gradual increase, then a little bit of a decrease, then an increase, and we just want the stair-stepping motion. So that way we don't blow out and, and go up dramatically and then crash. That's when people really get burned because they buy at all-time highs and then they go down 30% and they end up selling. What we should look at here are some quotes, I think, to help you wrap your head around why this is actually good and what we should be fearful of too. But before we do that, let's take a look at crypto. Crypto is starting to make a little bit of a comeback too. If we look at the seven day, Bitcoin's up 26%. So I think, you know, there is money flowing back into crypto. If you look back a year ago, right? Everyone was super fearful during the pandemic and everyone afterwards was wishing that they had gone in at those low prices. But some of those people didn't do that recently. Some of the, those people that wanted a 50% drop didn't actually buy. So that's where we have to start looking. Okay, if stocks fall down for a couple days in a row, which I would love because honestly, I'm having a hard time finding a lot of really good deals. Sure, there are stocks I think are going to do really well, but I really want nice buying in prices because we've just seen green for the last couple weeks. If we see red days for two or three days in a row, that's when I really like to go a little bit heavier in. And if we see it for a couple weeks, that's when I get really excited. But let's take a look at some quotes from famous investors to kind of help us wrap our heads around this a little bit. So this is from Peter Lynch, one of the best investors of all time. I've always said the key organ here isn't the brain, it's the stomach. When things start to decline, there are bad headlines in the papers and the television. Will you have the stomach for the market volatility and the broad-based pessimism that tends to come with it? I totally agree. I mean, we've seen that in crypto more recently where we saw uh, a big dip over the last month or two. We saw that back from pretty much February to May in growth stocks. A lot of people started investing in January and February and stopped investing. 
that I feel like is my, that is what I can bring to the community. You know, I'm not the smartest person in the world. I try to do, you know, good research and everything on my stocks, but I feel like a lot of the time I am just the one beating the drum. Hey, don't worry. If you're thinking long term, don't worry about, you know, up and down 20, 30%. That is gonna happen, and I feel like that is really my calling almost to some newer investors. Uh, for other investors, I think there's a lot that they can get too, but for newer investors, I feel like everyone is just like this excited, uh, in this excited state where once that excitement falls off a little bit, then they get really worried that they just blew a lot of their money. And I try to reiterate, hey, if you do your research, if you do your due diligence, and you're not being stupid with how you invest money, right? Like don't put in 100% of your money day one and don't put it all in one stock. Like try to diversify. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor, but I feel like you should be fine for the long term then if you are doing your research and learning and trying to be safe with your investments at least a little bit, right? Now, if you guys want to see what I'm buying and selling on a daily basis or if you've had those moments where you panic, there is a link down there to the Patreon. I give pre-market updates or right when the market opens and when it closes. And I've had a lot of people say, hey, I really appreciate that. You know, on the red days, I get pretty worried. So I'm glad there's someone here trying to calm me down a little bit. So anyways, if you want that, there is a link down below. But I feel like this is totally right on, especially with newer investors. For people that have been investing for a while, you're kind of excited when there's some red, especially if you have a little bit of money on the sidelines, which I think most people should. Then we have Warren Buffett long ago. Ben Graham taught me that price is what you pay, value is what you get. Whether we're talking about stocks or socks, I like buying quality merchandise that is marked down. Totally agree, that is why I am excited for some red. It's not like anything's really changing in the stock market recently, nothing has really changed. It's just been fear about inflation and about certain companies, but overall, uh, growth stocks in general have just been doing really well as businesses. So I totally agree. I love it when it's marked down. And then the last one here, the stock market is designed to transfer money from the active to the patient. Totally agree. You make money if you are in it for the long term. Now, of course, if you're trying to move in and out of stocks, there is some money to be made there. But over the long term, you have to stay invested. Now, there's another one here that I actually want to cover too because uh, this is the one that actually I wanted to talk about. So we'll just back up here and we should be able to find it. Uh, so while I find this, let me know what you think about this down below. Uh, let me know whether you're excited on red days or whether you get fearful. I know, again, a lot of people are very afraid, but I think overall, I think this is a great time to be investing when there is red. Now, this is the one that I want to talk about. Investors should remember that excitement and expenses are their enemies. Back in February, I, I was there with you. I was excited about the stock market. Of course, like we were doing a lot. We were investing or I was specifically investing in more penny stocks then than I am now because the penny stocks were going up 20 to 50% in a week or in a day. Uh, but I was trying to be cautious about how much I put in. It was like point. 3% of my portfolio was pretty much what I was comfortable putting in into each one of these because I said at the time, hey, I am investing a small amount, but I am pretty risk averse. So excitement are really uh, one of our is really one of our enemies here, right? We don't want to get to that point where everyone is over exuberant in the stock market and investing their life savings into risky stocks and options. We want that stair stepping motion where people think, okay, there's potential here but I can't just go out and buy whatever I want. I think that's really the safe way to go long term. Now, of course, you can make a lot of money short term if you get in at the right time, but that is very hard to do. I mean, how many people got burned in February? But again, that's why it's important to keep some cash on the sidelines too, in case there are stocks that you really like and to mitigate your risk with stocks that are a little bit riskier. Now, of course, I'm not a financial advisor, like I've said several times in this video, so always do your own research. Let me know what you think about this down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and checking out the links down below to Weeble and to BlockFi in case you want that interest rate on your cryptocurrency and to Patreon if you want to join the group of over 2,400 other people in a Discord and you get to hear exactly what I'm doing every single day. Thank you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.